Be a traveler, not a tourist. The world is meant to be discovered, not just checked off a list. This is one of our favorite rules in life, and whenever we do something exciting, we repeat it to ourselves. There is a dramatic difference between being a traveler and being a tourist. Tourism is a product that's being sold to you, where you are not in control of the experience, so you're not in control of your life. Travel is when you venture out into the unknown and take the world in in its raw format. Do not mistake this for just going to different places because it's deeper than that. Look at different parts of your life and see if you're a traveler or a tourist. You'll be shocked when you realize how little of your life is currently put in in certain lanes by someone else. Number nine, be grateful for what you have and thirsty for more. Gratitude makes sense of the past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. Be grateful for even the little that you have. If you have more, be grateful for that. But definitely, just be grateful. Life is a blessing, and you could have had it a lot worse. So shake off this feeling that life somehow treated you unfairly and buckle up. Once you make peace with your current reality and realize it's actually enough. You break free and can finally go after having more. There's nothing worse than being a prisoner in the "life has been unfair to me" trap. Number ten, reading books can be your competitive advantage. The man who reads lives hundreds of lives, while those who don't live only one. Books are still heavily underrated because most people don't understand what the real value is. They look at books as forms of entertainment instead of seeing books for what they really are—literal knowledge vaults. Someone's life experiences, mistakes, failures, successes. Everything someone learned in 50 or 60 years can be downloaded into your brain in a couple of days. How amazing is that? It's time you start reading self-help books. Books are not about entertainment. They provide you with access to some of the greatest minds that ever lived. Remember what we said at number seven: a single idea can make you rich, and books are filled with them. A single book can change your life forever. This is the reason we made our 15 books everyone should read video, which you can check out by clicking in the top right corner. We specifically mention in that video when is the best time to read each one of them, so you can pick up a couple of them which fit your current reality. Number 11. Listen much more than you speak. Nobody learned anything by hearing themselves speak. If you want to win at the game of life, it's time you focused on real growth—the type that comes from actively paying attention to the world around you. It's time you became a sponge of knowledge and quality information. There isn't one person around you which you cannot learn something from, and the brain has its weird problem where it doesn't allow information to go in as you're talking. So just shut up and pay attention. There's a good reason you have two ears and a single mouth.